Honey badger don't care, everybody. I'm gonna talk about my honey badgers I got. I uh, bought uh, one of my first honey badgers was back several years ago on eBay. At that time, they only had like three different sizes, maybe three different size uh, type blades and a few different colors. And I bought a black one, a large, and I bought it for a gift to give somebody. And they hadn't changed much as far as the package. This was the box like I got mine in. And it came in a really nice pouch. And in these pouches, I wish most companies would do that. They come with a booklet, a decal, and a Torx wrench, uh, size six and eight. That's your most common for all your knives. But anyway, they all come with these and the box. Anyway, they came out this year with a limited series. This is the one I got several years ago. So if I got a sat and finish. This is one limited series. This is Stonewash. They came out with this this last year. And this is the large size, the same size I got. Honey Badger is just a fast flipper. It really is. And I love the famous honeycomb scales. There's the honey badger right there. I mean, for the price, it's incredible. So anyway, what I did, I brought out my honey badgers. Here's some of them. I keep these in a drawer in my knife chest, but I brought them out here to take uh, in my shop. I wanted to, uh, it's, it's kind of sprinkling out there, so I carried them in this case. But these are my honey badgers. Nowadays, they got uh, several different uh, knife shapes now. They have uh, several different colors of scales. They even came out with G10 scales. And one of the best things I love about Honey Badger, other than the price and the quality, is that you can go on their site and you can buy scales. You can buy the G10 scales. You can buy screws, pocket clips, bearings, anything. You don't have to wait through that red tape and, uh, and uh, oh, can I get this and that. They have it. Great customer service. I went, I went directly on their site for my parts. You got little screws here. You know how sometimes you miss little screws? They have them. They have everything. So, great customer service. And then a lot of these knives, too, I got off Amazon. You can check them out. The prices, like I said, is very doable. And it's budget-friendly. You can get up there a little bit high, like the 70 bucks. That's the D2 steel and another steel limited series, but most around the 30, 40 bucks range. And they had the custom G10 scales, which I did. Here's one I did, it's a G10 camo. And I put a stone wash blade. I just switched it around for what I had. Isn't that cool? I put, oh, you can get spacers. So I put black spacers black hardware these are liner locks very fast action uh let me go through so, the sizes too i got a. here's another one i customized this using a black tanto blade off their one of their uh, limited series so this this is uh this is a medium here's a small And here's your large. I'm trying to get it out of here. This is a hook blade right here. I didn't do anything to that. So you can see the size is right here. And even the small, see how well it fits my hands? You got the jipping. So what I did, I'm gonna be tell you the truth. They came out with the limited series in the jade. I fell in love with it black tanto blade. So I came up with this idea. I wanted to take that black blade and customize some other knives. That's how I did this, this tan one right here. And I did a white one and the white one, I bought the uh, white G10 scales. Isn't that cool? I used the black spacers. But one I got several, a lot of comments on. It went crazy on their site is I customized, I wanted this, and I carried it. I customized an all black one. So I bought the limited series and the Jade just to have their blade. And I wanted to keep the honey 
honeycomb scales because I really do like it a lot better than the, the smooth G10, but it's your preference. I mean, if somebody pulls out a honeycomb out of their pocket, you, I mean, a honey badger, you know it's a honey badger because that honeycomb. But isn't that cool? Now these are all, these were the limited series, so there's the number. And that's the D2 steel. But I love, I used a black space, there's black hardware. I got all this stuff, man, from their site. You can just customize everything. Nice jipping and just uh, fantastic action. I carry this one once in a while. I just love it. I love show, showing it off. Okay, so they also have a white scales that you can dye. So I use that one, and what I did, I just put a satin blade, switched it out. But this, uh, the scales, uh, they, they, they tell you how to do it. You can also Google it. Uh, a lot of people have uh, dyed them. I think it's using the uh, red dye or something, but a lot of really nice knives they showed on their site. I use white spacers here. Is that nice? I know I'm taking a while. Here's a, oh, look at this one. This is way out of my box. I'm always in the black tactical and I just went crazy on colors. Look at that pink, that's G10. And I put it with the uh, satin finish. I use satin hardware. I use the uh, black uh, pink spacer. That's pretty cool there too. And then of course, uh, these colors really stand out. There's your orange. That's the Tonto Blade. I just got this one not too long ago. Here's the orange drop point. Isn't that nice? Here's the uh, G10 that came in a limited series. And what I did, I switched it out and I put that, the G10 that came with the black blade, Tonto Blade. I used the Tonto Satin Blade, and I used the uh, Silver uh, Hardware. That's a sharp looking knife right there. Here's uh, some different shape blades. There's your Warren Cliff. I didn't do anything with that. I just bought it, like it as is. They This last year they had a uh, black blades in different sizes, different styles, and they like sold out quick. There's another different style blade. I didn't do anything with that. But they sold out like crazy. They really did. Look at this blue. I didn't even touch that, didn't even have to. That is sharp. I'm so glad I got a chance to show you my honey badger. Here's one. I took a G10 scales. And this is the claw. Now one of the uh, blade types, uh, they have the claw, but it's serrated. Pretty gnarly. Honey Badgers is great quality. What a flipper. Uh, I've never had a problem with them. And I've had so much fun taking these apart. And like I said, I've learned a lot about the inside of a knife, especially the liner locks. <clears throat> but it's so I've gotten so fast, I can just change these out. And I need to buy some more honey badgers and play around with them, customize them. It's just a lot of fun, stress relief, nice hobby. Okay, when I got the, uh, the limited series, really nice. It came with a really nice challenge coin. And I love my challenge coins. So is that cool? Okay, everybody. Those were my honey badgers. I just had to share it. And uh, if you get a chance, you can look on Amazon, look at the prices. Uh, go to their site. It was really cool because it's just a lot of information. You can see all their blades, all their scales, everything. And like I said, it's great customer service. I mean, I was emailing back and forth. I had a question about some things. Uh, no problems, just some questions, and he just went back and forth with me. It's just great. So, if you get a chance, get the honey badger. Honey badger, don't care. Okay, y'all take care. Till next time. I gotta get out of here. <sighs>